now we are going to converting a smaller unit to bigger unit converting a smaller unit to bigger unit so we are going to do the problems now if you do the problems you can understand the concept very clearly so now we are going to practice this sum the first one is converting a smaller unit to bigger unit the first question first subdivision a question 13,500 milliliter, 13,500 ml, ml is called as milliliter, 13,500 milliliter is converted into liter. So I have told you smaller to bigger means you have to what? First smaller to bigger means you have to divide, okay? That is the division, division by 1000. So already I have told you, so what is this? 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter. So according to the question, you have to change over the formula. So what is this? 13,500 divided by what? 1000, you can get the liter. So 13,500 divided by 1000, 1000, this is okay, 1000, 1000. So how many zeros in 1000? Uh, Three zeros. So what you're going to do? You have to move the place, you have to move the decimal place, decimal place to the what? to the left to the left this three decimal place three decimal place to the left direction so one two three so zero zero five three decimal place to the what left three decimal place move three decimal place to the left so then point then three then one so 13 point after that five double zero ml it is called as after that, you have to cancel. I told you already, after the point, if you had how many zeros, you just cancel it. There is, if you had how many zeros, there is no value for it. So better you cancel it. So 13.5 ml. The answer is 13.5, sorry, not ml. This you're converting into liter. So 13.5 liter. So 13.5 liter. 13.5 liter. This is the right answer for the question. I'll repeat once again. Smaller unit into bigger unit. You have to divide by 1000. So 1000 ml. 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml. That's a formula. So according to the need, according to the question, you have to change over the formula. So 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter. So 13,500 divided by 1000. 13,500 divided by 1000. So in 1000, how many zeros? 3 zeros. So you have to move 3 decimal place to the left. Okay. So once and then one two three three decimal place move to the three decimal place move to the left side so zero zero five then you have to put a point then after that you write one three that is thirteen point five double zero liter so after the point you should not consider the zeros so you just write thirteen point five liter this is the right answer for the question next 550 ml second question we have done the first sum now we are going to do the second sum so 550 ml is equal to how much liter so that means l it's called as l so 550 divided by 1000 so in this 1000 three zero so you have to move three decimal place to the left side so what you're going to do zero five five then you have to put a point so before the point you have to add zero so after the point the zero is not considered so the answer is 0 0.55 l 0.55 l 0 0.55 liter this is the right answer for the question okay next converting the bigger unit to smaller unit converting the bigger unit to smaller unit so bigger to smaller means you have to multiply by 1000 so multiply by 1000 this is the rule so first question sub first subdivision is over now we are going to do the second subdivision converting the bigger unit to smaller unit the question is 12.5 liter so first a question 12.5 liter is equal to how much milliliter so 12.5 that is i told you one liter is equal to thousand ml so that you have to multiply by thousand okay you have to multiply by thousand so multiply by thousand means you have to write one two that means 12 point as it is right five then you have to add how many zeros in thousand three zeros then you have to move the points so this decimal point move three decimal place to the what right direction this decimal point move three decimal place to the right direction okay 
so this point is comes here that means 1 2 5 double 0 then point after that 0 so after the point you should not consider the 0 the answer is 1 2 5 double 0 that means 12500 what milliliter this is the right answer for this question 12500 milliliter so don't forget to write the units units is very essential if you forget to write the units definitely the teacher will reduce your marks 12500 ml is already written so i don't want to write it so 12500 ml this is the right answer for the question the next one is 0 0.8 liter so first a question is over now i'm going to do the b question that is 0 0.8 liter converted into milliliter okay convert into milliliter that's a question so i told you already 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter so you have to multiply the same method multiply by 1000 0 0.8 into what 1000 so write as it is 0 0.8 in 1000 how many zeros three zeros add one two three zeros so this decimal point move this decimal point move three decimal place to the right okay so after 800 point zero will come for this question so after the point you should not how many zeros you have written it's you will not consider the zeros there is no value for the zeros so cancel the zero as it is so 800 what ml so don't forget to write ml ml is essential because units is very very important so definitely you have to write the units without you know definitely they will reduce the marks half a mark will be reduced so 800 ml this is the right answer for the question this is the right answer for the question.